Alright, what's up? I'm back and I'm black. Rhyming. So, people were asking me, you know, why you got the fro? And then I asked you, why do you think I got the fro? And then people were like, uh, because you can. And that's the answer. Because I can. Yeah. Anyway, but there's a story behind the fro. I got a story about a story about a story. But the story behind this fro, uh, about a year and a half ago, my friend invited me to a 70s party. And he said, it said on the flyer, you know, dress up. I'm like, you know, why, why not? So I went to a Don Quixote, I bought me a fro, I had on my shirt, I had on a purple shirt, and I popped my collar, and I was good to go. So I roll up in there, it was in a multi-signal, so I roll up in there, and I'm thinking I'm going to get a discount because it's my friend. But the chick was like, 2500 I'm like, it's me, man, it's for Iron Man. She's like, 2500 And she gave me attitude, man. I know the girl, but she gave me $2,500. So I paid the $2,500 because it was payday, so, you know, I got the money. Plus, it was for my friend, and at least it's going to his event. Plus, my other friends were cooking, so they're going to split the money anyway. So I'd rather give it to my friends instead of, you know, give me a discount, give me a discount. So anyway, I roll in there with the fro, with the 70s look, and would you believe there was nobody wearing any 70s? They were all up in there. Everyday normal clothes. There was no froze, there was no disco, there was nothing. And then people were looking at me like I'm the oddball. Like, you actually dressed up? What's wrong with you? And they're laughing at me and I'm like, you know what? I, 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 I got the fro, I'm just going to roll with it. So I'm walking around. And uh, I saw one other boy in a fro. So we took some pictures, like, my brother, and then, you know, he's a Japanese guy. So, after, you know, I'm in there having, you know, I'm making the best of it, and, you know, it's, it's cool, people are laughing, touching my hair and stuff. I mean, girls are touching my hair and stuff. Like, so, I'm in line to get some food, because I told you, my friends were cooking, and they are good cooks. They, it was actually soul food, they were cooking some soul food. Come and get your soul food. Actually, I probably don't think half of you know who Goody Mob was. Anyway, so I'm in line, and um, there was a girl in the front, a girl in the back. <laughs> and, um, you know, I say hello to the girl in the front, and then the girl in the back. And she's like, hey, what's up? And we're just making small talk. So what do you do? She's like, I'm a dancer. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm a rapper. She's like, oh, wow, that's cool. I'm like, and by the way, I'm doing a video for uh, I'm going to do a video. I'm looking for dancers. She's like, oh yeah, that would be cool. So I give her my card. She gives me her card, which I was digging her card. It was raised with little, uh, what do you call it? Like you can feel the texture. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a card man. I love getting a card that shows people put the time and energy into making it. My card's nice. I wish I had it. Well, please remind me. I'll show you in the next video. I don't want to... I, I like to keep the videos just... Because anybody can edit this and edit this. This is the stream of thought, man. Like, we talking, man. You just don't stop conversations. And anyway, so I get her card. She gets my card. And then... That's it. And then I was at the party. There was this girl who was like a, a lawyer. Japanese girl. I mean, it was 50-50. And uh, I'm trying to talk to her. Like, oh, you're a lawyer. She's like, yeah. I'm like... Do you do music law? She's like, no. I'm like, do you know anybody who does music law? She's like, why don't you look in the yellow pages? Now, I don't know if she was just being sassy because she saw I was hitting on her. But I really wanted to know about music law in Japan. And she's a lawyer. I thought she could give me some help. And she was not trying to. And I, 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 I persisted a little bit more. And she just like, go get a yellow. And so much attitude. I'm like, what did I do to this girl? So then, uh, that was the end of the night. I go home, I had some cards, and I got some Facebook things. So I added the people on Facebook, I emailed all the people, gave them their cards. And I, I don't even, I played the card game, but realistically, no one, a lot of people never respond to the freaking, hey man, it was nice meeting you at the event, My, if you're ever busy, you know, I don't even have a 
you never get an email back. Or it comes back like 10 years later. Like, oh, I saw you email me there. So I emailed this girl, the girl I, who's a dancer, and, you know, I didn't get any response back. And I'm like, well, there you go. So I go about my business. And then for the next couple of days, I was rocking this fro. Everywhere I went, my phone's vibrating. But the phone got to wait. So everywhere I was going, um, I was rocking the fro. Just do doom 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 I'm just having a good time. So then maybe a week or maybe a week or two passes and then I get an email. Hey Matt, sorry for the long delay. I was busy. Um, how are you? And I'm thinking, who who is this? Who who is this? and then it's that dancer chick. So I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, long time. I didn't think you were going to email me back, you know? And she's like, no, nah, I was just really busy. I'm like, okay, whatever. So we're talking and, you know, we're just talking. Talking for like two weeks, man. Just talking, 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 talking about everything. Just, I mean, this girl was, I like this girl, man. She's saying she, she does computers. She does website making. She does dancing, she does this, she does that, plus she has a big heart. I'm like, I'm digging this girl, man. So then we do the video. I'm like, yo, can you come to the the video shoot? She's like, yeah, and my friend can come too. So I'm like, cool, man, this is great. So she shows up. So I got two girls, and then uh, my friend Dave, he came, and, you know, my house is kind of small for dancing in it. This is before I lived in the apartment that I live in. So my friend, we used his kind of studio apartment, and we moved all this shit out the room, and we set up a green screen, and we taped it down, and we did uh, the Shinchan video. I mean, this video right here. And, uh, you know, it was crazy, because, you know, it was just fun. You know, I just met this girl. She's really nice, and I, I felt some sparks at the, at the, the video shoot. So we went to Caesarea. Actually, and uh, Machi was there. Yeah, so I, I, so Machi, this other girl, the dancer, Dave, and the owner of the house. So after that, we went to the size area. We got our eat on. I was going to pay for everybody's food because they all helped me. But, you know, <laughs> I didn't really want to pay for their food. But uh, they all started paying for it anyway, so... I'm not one to stop somebody from paying. But, you know, anyway, they wanted to do it. They said they had fun, so it was really not a problem. So then, uh, after that, the girl and I, we continued to talk, and then, and then, what was the next big step there? Uh, she, um, we had her first date, I guess. I'm like, hey, you should come down to my city so we can talk. And I was like, okay, uh, you know, I live here. And here, this is what happened next. <laughs> you know what that means. You see it fading out, right? You see it getting dim. So, uh, to be continued. Alright, rhyming.